And we're going to begin Finance World with the top lines that we're following at this hour. Global credit rating agency Fitch Ratings maintains its forecast of India's GDP growth at 7.5% for 2015-16, expects growth at 7.7% for the next fiscal. The gradual recovery in FY17 and 18 will be supported by higher real disposable income on the assumption that monsoon would be normal. There will be above normal monsoon this year. The Met Office predicted easing fears over farm and economic growth. There will be fair distribution of monsoon across the country, but Southeast India will get slightly less rain. In March, retail inflation slowed down to 4.83% from 5.26% a month ago as food inflation fell to 5.21% from 5.3% during the same period. After three consecutive months of contraction, factory output grew 2% in February due to strong performance by mining and electricity sectors. Showing a growing traction for mutual funds among investors, the number of folios have grown by over 59 lakh last fiscal, primarily on account of robust contribution from smaller towns. Mutual funds have reported a net inflow of 1.34 lakh crore rupees in the total schemes. All right, uh, some details on a story now. Well, even though Aadhaar enrollment is free of cost, there are a large number of private agencies who promise Aadhaar smart card for a fee of 50 to 200 rupees. But the fact is that there is no Aadhaar smart card. The smart cards that these agencies or individuals provide has the same information as an Aadhaar card printed on a piece of paper, only that it is printed on a plastic card. And merely printing that on a more durable material doesn't make the Aadhaar smart card. Now, the UIDAI on its part has cautioned the general public against merchants charging 200 rupees for printing the ID on a plastic card. The authority says that even a black and white printout on paper for official use is perfectly valid. Now, some unscrupulous entities are charging 50 to 200 rupees for printing Aadhaar on a plastic card in the name of a smart card. Let's get you an update on the markets now. Well, there's negativity prevailing across bosses, not just in India, but in the global markets as well. We're going to begin with the Asian pack first. In morning trade, we saw some positivity come in where the Asian markets are concerned. The Nikkei straight times, Hang Seng and the Nifty up in morning trade. The Nikkei up about a 291 points to at that 16,220 level. Let's talk about the other markets now, the US and the European markets also ending in the green yesterday. The Dow S&P 500 as well as the Nasdaq up over a percent in yesterday's trade. Uh, the kind of global cues that we're getting positive and uh, even the European markets where they're concerned, that's the kind of cues that came in the FTSE 100 as well as the DAX both up in trade by 78 and 42 points respectively. And that's the kind of cues that the Sensex and the Nifty took as well. The Sensex and the Nifty up in yesterday's trade. We're going to see how that pans out for the stock markets today in a short while from now. But for the rest of the news, it's back to Suckle and Nancy.